welcome to class 7 mathematics classes we are in menstruation chapter area of parallelograms and rhombus question number 2 the height of a parallelogram is 3 eighths of its base okay if the area of the parallelogram is 96 centimeters square find its height and base so here the relation of base and height is given okay 3 h of its base the height is so we have to assume that base as x okay solution let the base be x centimeter here okay according to equation height will be 3 eighth of base okay base is x so here this will be equal to 3x by 8 now we know area is also given here 96 centimeter square and we know area of parallelogram is given by base into height okay base is your x centimeter and height is your 3x by 8 okay area of parallelogram is given as 96 centimeter square so here 96 into 8 into is equals to 3 x square okay so here 96 into 8 by 3 this 3 comes here x square 3 1 ja, 3 3 ja, 3 2 ja here now here 8 2 is a 16 8 3 is a 24 25 256 is equals to x square so x will be the square root of x will be square root of 256 so square root of 256 we factorize this 2 1 ja, 2 2 is ja, 4 2 8 ja, 2 6 ja, 2 4 ja. Here 88 is 64. So the square root of 256 will be 16. 8 to the 16 here. X is 16. That means base is 16 centimeter. Therefore, base is equals to 16 centimeter and height is equals to 3 x by 8 which is equals to 3 into 16 by 8 8 1 ja, 8 2 ja, 3 2 ja, 6 centimeters so we got base and height question number 3 a b c d is a parallelogram having adjacent sides a b is equals to 35 centimeter and b c is equals to 28 centimeter if the distance between its longer sides is 8 cm find number 1 the area of the parallelogram number 2 the distance between its shorter sides okay so first of all let us draw the diagram according to the question so a b c d is the parallelogram here a b is given as 35 cm okay BC is given as 28 centimeter the distance between the longer side so AB and CD are the longer side distance between these two that is the perpendicular distance is given as 8 centimeter number one find the area of the parallelogram so we require base and height to find the area of the parallelogram so number one area 
of parallelogram is given by base into height so base is 35 centimeter and height is 8 centimeter so here 35 into 8 is 280 centimeter square the area of the parallelogram a b c d okay number two the distance between its shorter sides so the distance between its shorter sides we have to find okay once we have got the area now the base will be 28 this time and we have to find the height of this shorter side that is the distance between these two shorter sides so here area is 280 centimeter square so area is equals to base into height okay area will take it as 280 okay and base will take it as 28 and the distance between these two sort of sides will be x okay now x will be equal to 280 divided by 28 therefore x is equals to 10 centimeter you can cancel it by 10 here that is the distance between its shorter side okay distance between its shorter sides is equals to 10 centimeter okay okay question number five find the area of a rhombus having each side equal to 20 centimeter and one of its diagonals equal to 24 centimeter okay so let us draw diagram for this okay this is the figure of the rhombus a b c d okay the name of the rhombus now each sides equal to 20 centimeter this is 20 centimeter this one 20 centimeter 20 centimeter 20 centimeter and one of its diagonals suppose ac okay ac is equals to 24 centimeter here okay and this intersection is named as o and we know that the intersection of the diagonal will form a right angle here isn't it now we have to find the area of this rhombus to find the area of the rhombus we should know the length of the diagonals but we know only the length of one diagonal so we have to find the length of another diagonal so first we will find the length of another diagonal that is bd okay for that and we know the intersection will divide the diagonal into two equal halves that is ac will be divided into two equal halves okay that is ao is equals to 24 by 2 okay 12 centimeter ao is equals to 12 centimeter ab is equals to 20 centimeter ob we don't know ob we have to find okay taking taking the help of pythagoras theorem okay so by pythagoras theorem okay we know that ab okay ab this is the hypotenuse opposite of right angle ab here ab square is equals to ob square perpendicular okay plus ao is square base okay now ab we know that is 20 20 square ob we don't know okay ob we don't know we are finding it and ao ao is your 12 centimeter now we'll try to find this ob 
20 square is 400 12 square is 144 so when this comes this side it will subtract is equals to ob square so when we subtract this we get 256 so ob will be square root of 256 square root of 256 we do here we get as ob as 16 centimeter so ob is 16 16 centimeter so double of ob is the length of bd therefore bd is equals to 16 into 2 centimeter that is 32 centimeter so now we have the length of both the diagonals ac and bd so we can find the area of this rhombus okay so let us write the formula area of rhombus is equals to half into product of its diagonal okay so here half into 24 into 32 centimeter square okay so 2 ones are 2 twelves are 32 into 12 is equals to 384 centimeter square okay question number six the area of a rhombus is 234 centimeter square if one of the diagonals is 19.5 centimeter long find the length of the other diagonal so area is given and the length of one diagonal is given we have to find the length of another diagonal we know the formula to find the area of rhombus with that we'll start so solution is area of rhombus is equals to half into product of diagonals okay so let the diagonals be d1 and d2 okay so area is given here that is 234 centimeter square and half from the formula into d1 and d2 okay so d1 is 19.5 and d2 we have to find so here you can see simply 234 this two will multiply this will divide here which give us d2 so when we simplify this we'll get d2 as 24 centimeter okay Thank you very much.